Hello, ladies and gentlemen and newcomers to my channel. My name is Causal Jeffrey, and welcome to my L.A. Noir playthrough. This is episode number 44, and where I last left off, I started the invest a new investigation of a house fire, and now it's becoming a murder case. So, let's continue. That's basically what I can say. That's all I can say, if anything. Alright, so, just gotta go another place. Okie dokie. Alright. I have to go to a certain location. We'll go to there first. What he said. Wait. What did it say? Let's see. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I mean, there's still evidence, obviously, but it's like, I don't care. Incomplete housing development destroyed by fire. Okay. Alright. That's where we're going. No, don't you. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. We're in a hurry here. Oh my gosh, you're right here. Here comes this guy in the loot. This lunatic right here. Alright. You know, there are times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not this is safe, America, sir. dickhead. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Son of a bitch! <laughs> you sorry sap. That's done. I'm gonna pass by these poor saps. Why does an investigator have to get involved with them? Come on. <laughs> One good punch and that was it. I'll let you have that. Sucker punch. Actually, it's that good punch to the nose. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. Let's see if there's anything left to do. Hold on one second. Alright, sorry about that. Had to take my dog out. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Nothing here, that's for sure. Wait. Whoa, this that's a lot of fires already gone. Wait, let's see. <laughs> and now the music starts up again. Oh, here we are. What am I looking at here? Oh, okay. Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? I'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Hmm. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Interesting. He just places it. R oh. Oh wow, okay. Just falls apart. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's bite the bullet and get on with it. Wait, is there more evidence? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. 
I swear. I'm looking for evidence and I got nothing. So, interesting. And Biggs is already on his way to the car, too, so it says something. Oh, look, a plane up in the sky on the far right. <laughs> Let's go to... Oh boy, here we go. Onward! Jeez, all these houses were burned to the ground. And I just am realizing I'm going in the wrong, wrong way. Should be interesting though, just to go to a place that I'm told not to go to, but either way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Turn on the siren anyway, just so that way. I wasn't paying attention when it came down to it. That's where someone would look behind me, look at me and say, nice driving. Sorry. Okay, I just some there we go. Okay, everybody, you gotta give me one more second, please. Thank you. All right, sorry about that. She wanted water again. Or she wanted water, excuse me. All right. Let's go inside. Wow, a glass. <laughs> Door that sounds Detectives like wood. Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? With a police lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. <laughs> that's always a good thing. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. <clears throat> this seems like a very modern house for the 1947s. If anything, it'd be pretty close to... May I help you, gentlemen? Seems like something from the 60s or something. We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Well, thank you, sir. You like a cigar? Drink, boy. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs. Curiosity. Wow, those are pretty. Sp <laughs> those are cheap houses. I will say that much. But they're nice-looking houses. But then again, too, probably too small for me. Hmm. Interesting. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. I don't know. Let's see. Where I 
Skill development. Uh, I only have one to intuition, but I'm just gonna... Well, he's not lying, so... What's your connection to the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? An organization of civic-minded individuals whose goal is to make the city a better place for its inhabitants. Something I was proud to be asked to join. That's what I figured. I was way off, but it's okay. It's fine. What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm not familiar with that one. Uh, I know he's lying. A fire. Okay, I'm gonna use that intuition point. Let's see. That's the community. Ah, he's lying. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. <laughs> proof? Which we have. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You want to accuse them of murder as well? Okay. <laughs> Punkster? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Local land acquired. You've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. I'm gonna doubt him. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Oh, I got him on that one. <laughs> What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was, before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. <laughs> and he's lying, I know that. You're lying, Monroe. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Or concrete quality. Cement. That's what it is. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? The arsonists, do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills, do you suppose there could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it would be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? <laughs> Glad to be of help, officers. Wow. Okay. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Catman looks interesting, but let's see. Oh, okay. Let's keep her 
Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Well, we'll be in another episode. So, yep, next episode I'm going to go find a phone and talk to Mr. Chapman. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you leave me a like, it lets me know how I'm doing. If you leave me a comment in the comment section, that will also let me know how I'm doing. And I will leave an ending card for the previous episode if you haven't seen it already. And I will leave a link in the description to my channel if you feel so bold to watch more of my videos or you just want to see what my channel is all about. And I will leave a link in the description to my Twitter, sorry, not Twitter, I, I always get the two confused, my Twitch account, which if you want to watch me live stream or you just want to see me play whatever I'm playing, then I'll leave a link for that. And I will also leave a link in the description to my Twitch account, there we go. What uh, to, to if you want to follow me and see what's going what's going on, or you just want to see what's going on in my life, and I will also leave a link in the description to my good a good friend of mine's Twitter account as well, so that way you can help support him and see what he's up to. So thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time.